All right, how's it going, everyone? I'm wearing my Padres hat because the Padres just played here against the Diamondbacks. We are here at Chase Field. Um, unfortunately, my Padres lost, but I'll root for the local team when they're not playing my Padres. That's, that's my rule, having moved out here. But very interesting conversations that I just had. I met someone from the, pre the press team. My press contact's not here today. So unfortunately, I'm probably not getting an interview done today. But here's my thought process, because we just heard the other week that the Coyotes still want a revenue bond for the North Phoenix site. So that's my guess on why we haven't seen anything done here in Chase Field or any like proposed plans because of that. That would be my guess on the issue here. So, what does that mean? Coyotes land auctions in June. That fails, hopefully, because you know what, if the Coyotes wanna play that game and move and do all that stuff, Arizona doesn't deserve them. That's my two cents at that rate. That's my opinion, because having dealt with the Chargers in this kind of same debacle of you know teams moving, I 100% get it. A lot of fans are upset. And there's more than likely an opt-out clause in that agreement anyways, even if they do get a revenue bond and get that site, that, oh, I don't have to build it if X, Y, and Z happens. There's contract laws, there's always an opt-out clause like that. So, what we'll see moving forward, I think, after the land auction, I think we might hear, hear more from the Diamondbacks or we might hear something at the end of the season. I'm still trying to get my interview. I'm gonna go outside and get some B-roll here in a minute after they kick all of us out because we're having all the kids run the bases right now. But I figured since I'm in here, might as well do the video. And uh, what I'm hoping for, so instead of two ballot measures for a bond measure, then we just get one. We figure out the ownership with, with Chase Field here because this is owned by the county right now. Chase Field is owned by Maricopa County. Now, there's been a couple rumors on what could happen and Maricopa County could sell them, sell the stadium theoretically to MLB directly, the Diamondbacks are affiliated entity, right? Where then it's not the county's problem, the Diamondbacks can do whatever they want with the facility. Now granted with permits and all that kind of stuff, there's still all those, the red tape you have to go through, but that would be an option. Then it's about the surrounding district that they want to develop, and if they want to do a theme park district, they got to fix the roof, it's closed right now, but they need to do that. They need to do some work on the HVAC. I guess they need to paint the facility. There's a lot of stuff they have to do to get the stadium up to par. And we're talking like the upper levels there. You could see some renovation. You can see some more suites. Um, a lot depends on what their goal is and their like attendance numbers and all that kind of stuff on what they want to do with their upper levels because Chase Field is still one of the biggest stadiums in terms of seating capacity, right? So. We'll see what's up there. Um, it'll be interesting. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, I'm hoping the Diamondbacks get their stadium upgrades because they need it. Because they're loyal to Arizona. Like my Padres are loyal to San Diego, right? Unlike the Chargers, they're not loyal. And Dean Spanos can uh, shove it because having dealt with that personally, with the stadium drama there, and them hiring Mark Fabiani as their lawyer, same guy that got Clinton out of, I did not have sex with that woman, by the way. Good contact to have, but I could see, if I was more politically aware in 2011, I would have seen what was going on. But it is what it is. So, recording this down here from Chase Field. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna see if I can find any more of the PR or press team to talk to who wants to talk on camera. But I doubt it because Casey's not here today. He's the one that usually talks to the media. So we'll see what's up. But anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We'll get some updates on what's going on down here at Chase Field and the surrounding development. So take it easy, guys. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'll catch you next time.